There's a reason why you clicked on this video. It may be the fact that something has been holding you back from doing what matters most in your life. It may be the fact that you feel like you are destined for more. The way you are right now in your life is not where you are meant to be. It may be the fact that there is this feeling inside of you speaking out, even though you may be living comfortably at the moment. Or perhaps it is the feeling of waiting for the universe to point you in the right direction, waiting for a sign that the decision you are about to take is the right one. If that's the case, then this video is that sign that you have been looking for, that sign to go all in, to start creating the life that you are meant to live and to move away from just existing in this universe of ours towards truly living. Chances are that you have been feeling tired recently. And I'm guessing it is not because you have done too much, but because you have done too little of the things that bring you joy, that give you energy, and that make you feel most alive. This is the moment, today, right now, where I want you to prioritize you. Where you start focusing on the things that bring you joy, that bring you energy, and that make you feel most alive. Where you step into becoming the hero of your own story. You were not born into this world to just pay bills, scroll aimlessly through social media, reply to endless emails, watch television, conform to the path of the majority, and then die. I mean, just imagine watching a film in which the main character sat in their room all day scrolling their phone. It would suck, right? So embrace some main character energy and do epic stuff that will make a Netflix documentary about your life compulsive viewing. The only thing standing between where you are now and where you want to be are your daily habits and choices and what you focus your energy towards. Because you become what you repeatedly do and you get what you focus your energy on. This isn't just my opinion. These are universal laws and truths. Read every day for a year and you will be blown away by your level of knowledge. Focus on what you can control over what you can't and you will make crazy progress. Because deep down, you are the answer that you have been searching for. You may be telling yourself that you're not ready. The fact is, you will never be ready to change jobs, to start that business, to move across the country, to let go of that toxic relationship, or to follow through with what you are most curious about. We spend too much of our lives waiting to start. And it's an absolute tragedy because time is one thing that we can never get back once we have used it. No one, no one is ever ready. And this is why you must begin before you are ready. If you are waiting for that perfect moment to be ready to have everything prepared, you will be waiting for the rest of your life. The truth is, you already know what to do to go all in, to live the life that you want to be living. You have done the research, you have done the thinking, you have done the analyzing. It is game time now. It is time to put your ideas and insights into bold action. And if you are lacking anything, my guess is that you are likely lacking courage. I know, because I lacked courage for so many years to go all in. I lacked courage to take that first step into the unknown. I lacked courage to embark on an adventure regardless of other people's opinion. But once I did, once I found and discovered the courage to go all in, beautiful things started to happen. True courage is not the absence of fear. It is the decision to act despite your fears. You have overcome obstacles in the past and you can do so again. For tomorrow's power comes from today's struggles. Yes, you will have some bad days and moments where you feel like you want to give up, where you feel like you're not sure you can make the progress towards where you want to be. Don't let the bad days take away the joy from all the good days that are about to come or let those obstacles defeat you. How you respond to life's inevitable obstacles is where resilience is born and where you discover just how powerful you truly are. The only way out is through. To face your fears head on, to walk through that door of fear 
and into the light. Because when you face your fears head on, they will lose their power over you. As Marion Williams says, our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. For it is our light, not our darkness, that most frightens us. You can't get the rewards you desire with zero risk. I mean, how can you expect to receive astronomical rewards with zero risk being taken? Those that you look up to are taking risks every single week. None of us know if things will work out ahead of time. In fact, a truth that we tend to underappreciate is that you, me, and the people ahead of us, we are all winging it. And when I think about courage, I feel that courage follows commitment. You see, enthusiasm, ideas, and talk are common. Commitment and execution, those things are rare. Yes, consistency is important to achieving your goals. Without commitment, however, you will never begin. And this is the difference between those who make progress and those who don't. Too many of us are only interested. We're interested to do something. We're interested to try something. But interest means you haven't committed to a decision. Whereas commitment is a far different feeling. Commitment is you saying to yourself, I have made a decision. I'm investing in this path. Most of us are interested. Few of us are committed. And when you make that step from interest to commitment, that's when you begin to make the progress that you desire. Interest says, I should and I might. Commitment says, I must and I will. Interest loves distraction. Commitment loves focus. Take a moment to look at where you are right now in your life. This is what you are telling the world you are committed to. If you want things to be different, you must go all in and commit to that difference. As Johann Wolfgang von Goethe noted, at the moment of commitment, the entire universe conspires to assist you because it is in your moment of commitment that you spark a shift in the universe around you as it hears your call and your desire to step up. And once you step up and commit to living each day with intention, you begin to understand that comfort is the enemy of progress. It can be easy to remain in your comfort zone, but nothing grows there. If you want to live with as few regrets as possible, you must commit to going all in, to being the best version of yourself and to being better than who you were yesterday, to set sail beyond the edges of your comfort zone. It is not going to be easy. It is going to be challenging and very, very hard. However, in life, you get to choose your heart. Regret is hard. Discipline is hard. Choose your heart. Pleasing everyone is hard. Pursuing what you love most is hard. Choose your heart. The poet Marianne Baum summed it up nicely when she wrote the following words. Every minute, someone leaves this world behind. Age has nothing to do with it. We are all in the line without knowing it. We never know how many people are before us. We cannot move to the back of the line. We cannot step out of the line. We cannot avoid the line. So while we wait in line, make moments count. Make your voice heard. Make sure to have no regrets. Make sure you are ready. This poem is another call for us to go all in because this is your time. The world is waiting to see your magic. We are waiting to see your gifts and talents. We are waiting for you to shine. We are waiting for you to revel in what makes you, you. And I know you have what it takes. So be your best friend. Be your most loving cheerleader. Be your biggest supporter because you can't sell you to others until you can sell you to you. So let's do this. Let's make it an epic year. Let's go all in to creating an extraordinary life. Be bold, be courageous, and take that next step however small, for the universe's gift to us is life. And our gift back to the universe must be to express those unique talents, skills, and gifts that we were born with. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know in the comments below which part resonated most with you. And if you are going all in this year, let me know what you are going all in with. Wishing you a wonderful day and week ahead. And in the meantime, I'll see you on the next video.